I move through a lot of Chrome OS hardware. That's pretty clear. Depending on the time of year, I'm signed in and using a new Chromebook every few weeks. And as great as that is for someone like me who loves playing around with new stuff all the time, there's also something to be said for items on my desk and in my bag that I don't have to change out very often. A solid mouse, a monitor, a USB-C dock are all part of that more grounded setup that I rely upon every day. And this latest travel dock from OWC has become a permanent part of my day in and day out setup. So let's check it out and see why. As cool as getting my hands on the latest, greatest thing is, I have to acknowledge the fact that I also enjoy finding tech gadgets that stand the test of time too. For example, I've had the same ultra wide monitor on my desk for years at this point. It's a known entity and it delivers where I need it. It's bright, it's large enough for lots of windows, the colors are on point, and the resolution is sharp without adding a bunch of unneeded and unnecessary pixels. I plug in Chromebook after Chromebook to it and never really worry about it not working, and there's nothing really making me yearn to upgrade it. And then there's my trusty Logitech M355 mouse. I've carried it around since it came out, and about three months ago it actually became my daily driver on the desk. It does all I ask from it. It's portable, and for the way I hold a mouse, it's really comfy to use. Again, I'm not looking to replace Place it all the time with some newer, better version. It does what I need it to do, it's reliable, and it is just this nice constant in my workflow. A good USB Type-C dock should be the same. I used a small Samsung dock for years that was given to me at the debut of the Samsung Chromebook Pro in New York City in a swag bag. It worked, it was out of the way, and once I learned I could really rely upon it, it just became this permanent fixture on my desk. After about four years of faithful service though, it started to have issues pretty regularly, and I had to start trying out other options. I went through some of the random ones we had here in the office, and there were issues with all of them. I mean, there were screen flickers, charging problems, not enough ports, too many ports, strange port alignments, you name it. I was so frustrated that I even tried forcing that old broken Samsung to work for just a little bit longer to hold me over until I could find a dock that I could rely on again. Then came the OWC travel dock. Well, more specifically, the latest version of this dock. I tried their first and second iterations, and I wasn't always really pleased with the results. Things worked most of the time, but I would have issues with both older models when I used them on a more consistent daily basis. I really didn't expect much better this time around, but OWC sent one over and I thought I'd give it a go since I was on the hunt for a new dock and I've not been disappointed. As the name implies, this is a travel size dock and is small enough to just drop in a bag. For me, it's actually been my desktop solution as well and most days it stays put right on my desk. There's a single USB-C plug that goes into the Chromebook and like we see with most USB Type-C docks at this point, everything else extends out of the dock body. Those connections include two USB 3.0 two type A ports, an ethernet port, a full size SD card slot, an HDMI output, and a USB type C power pass through. For my setup, this means my Logitech dongle, HDMI output to the monitor I mentioned earlier, and a 65 watt charger are all plugged into the travel dock at all times. And I just have to sit down and take that single USB type C cable and plug it into whatever Chromebook I'm using at the time. And I'm up and running with an extended display, charging and instant connection to my Logitech mouse. And the layout is right this time around too. And that matters a lot. Most docks, including OWC's previous two travel docks, put ports on all sides of the device and they don't really give it much thought. This latest travel dock gets the placements just right, however, putting the power and the HDMI all on the back of the dock so that things align nicely and aren't all twisted up when you try to get connected. If I had one gripe, it would be the length of the main USB Type-C connector. It's just too short. But the feet on the bottom are nice and grippy, so even having the cable kind of snake out in an S shape for the dock to hit my Chromebook doesn't really get my setup all twisted and things generally stay in place. And the shortness of that cable does allow it to fold up into the bottom of the body for easy storage when you're not using it. My connections with this dock have literally been perfect and I've yet to have a single instance where any Chromebook I've tested had issues connecting to all of my stuff. This dock is rock solid, it's reliable, it just does what you'd expect every single time. And that's what I'm after in accessories like this. I don't need something flashy or mind blowing, I just I need it to work every every time I ask it to. The OWC travel dock does just that. It gives me extra ports that I need. It stays small and out of the way, and it's even built to be thrown in my bag and take it with me when I need it. I've been on the lookout for just this sort of dock, and I think I've found my new deskmate in this one, and at 65 bucks, 
You can't beat it. I have no problem recommending it to anyone on the lookout for a solid USB Type-C dock. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit the subscribe button, and be sure and ring the notification icon next to that if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.